I got a message on YouTube the other day, and it was from yet another Muslim man warning me uh, that I'm going to get my throat slit for saying that we have the freedom to draw pictures that might offend someone. And frankly, I'm really sick of these sorts of messages, the, the ones where the sender pretends to not really want me dead, but somehow he just can't hide his joy at the idea of someone else doing his dirty work. And I wrote back to tell him that he should grow a pair of testicles and either come here and try to kill me himself or shut the F up. I mean, seriously, I think that this is just, it just says so much about kids today. Um, it used to be back in the good old days that if someone made fun of your religion and your God said they deserve to die, then damn it, you killed them yourself. Um, but all I ever get are these emails from Christians and Muslims warning me warning me that someone else is going to rape me, that someone else is going to kill me, that someone else is going to damn me to an eternity in the fiery pits of hell. Kids today are just lazy. And I was thinking of making a video all about this sort of idea, about how I think it's about, about opposing desires. Like you have, on the one hand, this desire to see something terrible happen to a person you really hate. But on the other hand, you want to think of yourself as a good person who would never do something terrible to someone else. And so I was going to do a video about that, but then I got this message from another Muslim man, and it was such a really good response to the extremists who want me dead for, uh, for talking about freedom of speech. And so I thought that maybe I would just read it to you. Um, it's from a man named Habib. And he, he sums this stuff up much better than, than I think I could. So here's what Habib writes in part. Honestly, I don't know how you repeatedly bring yourself to dignify the idiotic comments your videos receive, and I am so, so embarrassed on behalf of my co-religionists for their disgraceful and, quite frankly, horrifying comments. It is a sad, sad thing that this virtue, the rising above of the ignorance of others and the dignified, objective, and articulate po positing of valid arguments that should be so promoted by the spirit of learning set forth in Islam is best and most visibly practiced in this situation by an atheist. And let me say I have absolutely no problem with atheism. I bristle at atheists who promote their views without an understanding of logic, premises, and conclusions, and so forth, but no more or less than I bristle at so-called believers who wouldn't know a logical argument for their own faith if it hit them with a truck. However, and when I can remember to be mature about it, I wouldn't have either of them, or you, or, unfortunately, my brothers and sisters who so disgraced themselves with their posts in response to your video, silenced for the world. Yes, sometimes I feel an instinctive bristling when I hear what some people say about Islam, but A, it is their right to say what they will, and B, are we not giving them mountains upon mountains of fuel for the fire? Habib goes on to say that he actually serves in the U.S. Army, and it gives him great pride to be able to defend with his life these freedoms, freedom of religion and freedom of speech. So there you go, extremist Muslims. There's a fellow Muslim who probably disagrees with me on a whole lot of important issues, but he has the intelligence and the maturity to discuss instead of threaten. And you should be damned grateful for people like him, because it's people like him who are going to convince non-Muslims that your religion is more than just a death cult full of hopeless, brainless barbarians. Unless, of course, that's the look you were going for, in which case I'll just let Habib know to expect your threats any moment now.